Alright guys, um, Mr. Hamilton here and back again and ready for another video in the technical lab. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we'll be drawing a ellipse using the rectangle method. The rectangle method, right? Now, the rectangle we are working with has a width of 70 millimeters and a length of 120 millimeters okay so that will actually also serve as the minor and the major axis of our ellipse respectively all right so um let's go ahead and start today's drawing i'm gonna start off with my first starting line and then I'm going to draw somewhere along the center or so which now the next move I'm going to do is I will find half of the length of my rectangle and my rectangle is 70 millimeters so that means I'm going to be working with 35 millimeters so I'm just gonna mark off 35 millimeters on my compass all right then I'm gonna set my compass I'm gonna mark All right, and draw a line at those two points parallel to that center line. All right, next I'm going to do the same with that center line and I'm going to mark my points because remember now, um, the length of my rectangle is 120 millimeters. So I'm going to set my compass to 60 millimeters. All right, so now I'm going to just go ahead and label some of these points on my rectangle. All right, now I'm going to label the other points of my rectangle as E, G, F and H. I want to do is I am going to divide my line EH into 12 equal parts by doing so I'm just going to take my set square and from E I'll draw a line at an angle to the line EH next after doing so I'm going to take my compass and open it to a desirable radius and mark off all my points Count off all these points on C if they are correct so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and one more 12 alright next I'm going to take my set squares and I'm going to join the final point point 12 to point H
All right, so we have all our points there. Mark off and we divided our line EH into 12 equal parts. Okay, one. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. We want to divide line HF into 12 equal parts as well. So I'm just going to go ahead now with my set square and my T square. Draw a line at an angle. Then using my compass, I'm going to divide this line into 12 parts. All right, 12. Now, using both set squares, I'm going to do the same and join point 12 to F. All right, so now we have our line HF divided into 12 equal parts. What we want to do now is we are going to mark off our numbered points from the line EF and hg onto the line d c and also g f i'm just going to go ahead and line it up Number these points, five, four, three, two, and one. And right here again, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now that we have all our points marked off, our next step is going to be from point A, I am going to join point A to points 1 to 5, and both from E to D and G to C. So I'm just going to use my smaller set square for this part. Now from point A, I'm going to draw a line from point A to one. All right, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right, now I'm gonna continue and do the same thing at B to point one, two, three to five on both sides. All right, great. Now, for our next step, what we want to do is, from point B, we're going to draw a line running through point 1 and stops on the line from A1. And we're going to do the same from point B through the point 2 that stops on the line A2. And we're going to do that right up to point 5.
So we're going to do the same over on the other side. Nice. Now, next, we're going to do the same from point A on the lines on the lower part. Great. Now, we have all the points of our ellipse. We actually have, have all the points of our ellipse marked out. So, we have all our locus points. Next, what we're going to do is mark out those points using a French curve. If you don't have a French curve, you can also do this freehand. But it is better to have a French curve in doing this. So I'm going to go ahead now and join all my points using my French curve. All right, guys, so that ends it for our ellipse using the rectangular method.